this is a sort of double layer one because first up, I'm telling you about this tutorial that I made uh, on designing your own shitty add-on, uh, which is the SAO standard <laughs> defined by Brian Benchoff for DEF CON 26. Um, oh, I should pull up that page actually. Oh yeah. Um, we'll take a look at that. But uh, also in celebration of releasing that, I'm going to solder together this one by Andrew Sowa. Um, which was part of my inspiration for doing this because it's a quite simple uh, one that just powers an LED through a resistor um, from the uh, I2C port on this. Ah! So what is a shitty add-on? Well, um, it's created by Brian Benchoff, creator, uh, co-creator actually with uh, Catherine Scott of the Mr. Robot badge, uh, which has been one of the most famous and popular uh, PCB art badges. It's incredible. Um, it's got a bunch of different features, including a snake game that I'm really bad at, <laughs> but also it features five SAO ports. Um, this one is for a pair of amazing 8-bit sunglasses, like pixelated sunglasses that uh, I do not have, but my friend Mohib does and they are amazing. But of course you can put whatever you want on there. Uh, the ones on the badge are designed to take female headers, and then your SAOs will have male headers. So what happens when we plug these in? Uh, let's take a look. Um, sadly you can't see the amazing LEDs from this side. Oh, hello Flux, you just turned on. <laughs> So when I plug in this amazing DeLorean that's uh, a collaboration uh, made by our friend uh, Drew Alden, Reanimation XP, uh, its little lights turn on, which is just super gorgeous. Um, then we have this one by Mr. Twinkle Twinkie, which is a gorgeous Cheshire Cat. Um, really nice. This one is like one of the top most popular ones and uh, Drew Fistini gave it to me and I really love it. Look at how the, like, it changes so much just based on how you tilt it. Like, look at that, it's so freaky. Um, then there's also this latte one, <laughs> just because you always need a latte. I think this one does color changing too. Yeah, color changing LED, super cool. Um, Purple Comic Sans is the official font of uh, the standard, um, as you can see. Uh, this is a proto board made by Drew Fistini, I believe, um, uh, at least made by Osh Park, and uh, that is in the official font. So you can use that to design your own ones. It's got these buses so that it's really easy to prototype on this. Uh, a Tide Pod, which is actually a part of the Mr. Robot Mystique you can, uh, it's like a whole, yeah, you can see how many of them you've collected, uh, or just get one. Let's see, if I view this, I think I only have one. Hey, do the thing. Oh, I have to hit. <laughs> anyway. Ta-da! Pods. <laughs> collected. Is one because <laughs> I only have one of these and uh, I don't think I ended up using this until after the end of the con so I kind of suck that's my bad but whatever and then here's one designed by Chris Gamel I believe yeah um, you can go to contextualelectronics.com slash NAC it's called the not a camera um, and it puts this makes this a little LED go and blink Adorable. So these are ones that other people have made. The one that I've been designing is based on a companion cube, the weighted companion cube from the game Portal. And uh, I've been designing it in KiCad. Let's take a look. Before we get to the like live soldering, which is always everyone's favorite part. Uh, yeah, so I took this SVG from... Uh, I just searched for companion cube SVG and I found this inventables page where someone had released an SVG with the design that is um, Creative Commons with attribution. So it's made by, what was his name again? Uh, I always forget, Travis, Lucia, ha! Yeah, or Lucia or something. Anyway, that person made this SVG design uh, for the cube image, which I then uh, used the, uh, I followed Andrew Soa's PCB art tutorial workshop that we did a while ago. Um, 
let's pull this up. Yeah. Anyway, super cool. Um, we did a whole, uh, well, Andy did a whole thing on uh, creating a PCB art piece of uh, Simone Yerch. Oh, where is that? That should be here somewhere. Um, I definitely own it, which is awesome. Thank you, Andrew. <laughs> uh, but you can go learn on our YouTube channel. Uh, I used that to turn the uh, SVG into a um, usable footprint for making a PCB. And then I also used the uh, shitty add-on connector file that Brian Benchoff has linked in his original uh, project for this. So if you go down to files here, you can find the KiCad mod file, uh, that's a footprint, and then the component for the connector, uh, and then all together you just kind of like put that into a thing <laughs> with a co like an LED and a resistor. Um, you can go check that out, it's really easy. Uh, it's not really easy. <laughs> it's actually quite long and frustrating, but hopefully it's much easier now that there's like a beginning to end tutorial of designing it. And I designed this as a one-sided PCB because we happen to have this Bantam Tools desktop PCB mill on loan, uh, which is very beautiful. Ooh, see all the terrible stuff on my desk. Oh boy. Anyway, it's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous machine and I've actually already been milling up uh, my design, but it's not perfect yet, so you can't see it yet. But we can see Andrew's because it's perfect and he's perfect and yeah. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna get this stuff together. Oh, in the meantime, <laughs> here's another one. It's made by, who's my bag? Oh, Mr. Stash by. Oh yeah, wire engineer, yeah. Anyway, Mr. Stash, so good. Uh, here we go. He has like a little haptic vibration motor and googly eyes and stuff. So fantastic. <laughs> and also an SAO port. Very important. Important. Ha, huh? sorry. Not sorry. Anyway, let's get to soldering. So I've got this kit from Oshpark uh, from the Open Source Hardware Summit. I'm going to change my focus so you can actually see what we're doing. It comes with its own little circuit board. Very cute. Um, actually, does the LED go on the back so it like shines through? No, because there's solder mask there. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, so we're, I'm just going to solder the stuff onto the back here uh, and then it's going to uh, be on the front. Okay. So then besides that we have an LED, a resistor. It's a 470 ohm resistor, which is quite large for a single LED, but I think it's a color changing one, so I could be wrong, but yeah. And then this goes on your badge or whatever. And then here you have some little um, connectors that you can use to make the uh, I squared C connector. And I'm actually going to put these into a little, into the other header so that I can hold them in a uh, perfect square when I solder them in. Um, so first up, uh, the LED goes in with the square uh, hole lined up with the ground leg. Oh wait, yeah. <laughs> I always have to like triple check that. <laughs> And then the resistor could go on the front, could go on the back. I'm going to put it on the front because I like looking at resistors. Go in there. In case you haven't noticed, most of my streams start with me talking to Facebook or OBS or something. Um, and whenever we do soldering stuff, I'm also talking to the electronics. It's a thing and I think it helps it work better. It definitely helps it work better. I'm gonna like yank on this LED, uh, resistor leg to see if I can get it to go in further. But it might just, ah, ha ha ha, put a bunch of torque on it. Lays pretty flat now. <laughs> wow. 
Um, and then we'll do the header bit after. Okie doke. Grab my solder here. All right, that's pretty nice. I'm gonna cut off those legs. And now it is time to do the header. That's gonna be pretty simple. I'm just gonna do it like this. No, it does go in that way, right? Yeah, oh, whoops, <laughs> this way. Hmm, what's the best way to hold this? I'll just tack solder one of them. Try and get it level. And tack one of them into place so that it'll hold everything still while I solder the rest. Cool, that's pretty good. All right. Now I can clip this back into my third hand. And like actually solder everything. And then we should be done. That was very quick. Where's my grass? brass coil, there we go. All right, let's test it. Mr. Robot, you're coming back into commission here. Uh, make sure that you line up the right pins. Um, most of these will have a little circle next to the VCC pin. This one does, cool. So that goes on the far left. I can take that out now. Does it go like that? Oh, yeah, cool. Gorgeous. Now it looks like he's having like, maybe he's like a little drunk or he's having some like weird thoughts. Fantastic. Uh, cool, go check out the tutorial. Once again, that is on Hackster. Uh, it's featured right now, so you should be able to find it pretty easily. Just look up design, <laughs> an add-on in KiCad, um, or go to my page, you'll find it. Um, check out the PCB artwork with Andy Soa. It's fantastic. And I've linked a bunch of other resources from the tutorial. Okay, important thing. I'm new to this. I am not an expert. And so it's very important that if you have any questions, you ask other people. <laughs> or, well, you can ask me, and I'll probably ask someone else. And actually, that would be a great way for both of us to learn. But um, I have linked a bunch of tutorials from other people who know more than I do about this and have a lot more experience. For example, Brian Benchoff and uh, Nate Seidel and Chris Gamble's Getting the Blinky tutorial is great for learning on KiCad. Uh, you can also do this, of course, in other uh, PCB design software such as Eagle or even Fritzing. Uh, apparently a lot of people are going to Fritzing for um, badge life design, which is kind of surprising to me because I've always seen them as like a, a tool that I just used for like making little schematics for projects that I design in other software, but it's a thing. Um, so yeah, check that out. Uh, let us know what you make. I'd love to see your own projects on Hackster. Uh, you can always add the tag badge life and there's a whole like category for it. Have an awesome rest of your, uh, I'm going to call this Tuesday because the, the video is a tear up. Sure. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you soon. Ciao.